I am Alan, the designer of the RMU. I'm Stuart. I'm holding one in my hand. I'm basically in charge, I think. Yeah, sort of. This is the top half of the left feeder for RMU. The RMU is a buffer unit for the Molten Tail Unit 2 S by Prusa, designed for Prusa Mark III series of printers. The RMU is one of the most compact designs for a buffer. Yes, Prusa do provide their own buffer. It's effectively five sheets of flexible, I think it's acrylic, sandwiched together to provide a buffer effect. But it's entirely separate to the printer, takes up a huge amount of desk space, and I'm personally not a fan. Well, I am new to 3D printing, and uh, I've really got into it more because of the work Alan's been doing. Yeah, so, so I've, uh, I've come out of manufacturing and... Look how easily the cutters remove the surplus metal, almost like slicing butter. ...and IT support, and, uh, and so when I looked at what Alan was designing with the RMU, I realised that what we got was a product that would probably have a high demand and is it fits a lot of bills for a lot of different people, we think. Because, because it's such a good design, it's so robust and it's so compact and it's easy to actually access and to use, we thought that we've actually got something here that's a bit special. Well, it comes to the of time to this buffer, that's hard to measure. Uh, actual hours in CAD designing it, talking 150, 200 hours um, from design to design. This is the version 3 at the moment. Time before uh, designing it, I reckon over a year. I got the MMU2, realised the weakness in the original buffer, and I immediately started research and planning and learning CAD from scratch. The buffer is very, very easy to load, especially compared to its peers. It loads from the top at the back left hand of a printer. It can be done one-handed fairly easily, with two hands it's even easier. Effectively, because of its design, you can access it from any angle and load it comfortably. I was amazed at how easy it was to load. Um, having seen the Prusa buffer and uh, quite a few others online. The design that Alan came up with, uh, is, as he said himself, is you can actually do it one-handed if you want to. A buffer is needed because the retraction between the extruder and the multi-material unit is about 520 millimeters stuck. Mine's actually slightly higher due to modifications at 550 millimeters. If that is not constrained correctly and that back feeds to the spool, a line of filament can jump under another, causing tangles, feeding issues, and lots and lots of issues, especially during long prints. The tail print buffer looks really, really nice, but it comes down to practicalities. When you compare it with the RMU Mark III, what you can see is something that actually means that to get to the buffer, to load it up and to empty it out, you've effectively got to get to the back of the printer. Because of the way the RMU Mark III is built and the way it fits onto the rear quarter of the printer and the easy access to the top of the buffer when you want to fill it up and empty it, um, it means that the RMU Mark III is a much better design, more compact, easy to use and at a glance you can also see the material. The reason old brittle filament does not snap in this where it may do in the stock buffer and other large format buffers of others have designed is that these large diameter wheels carry the curve of the filament but when it is unloaded that curve is transferred down and through the buffer it is not concentrated on a single point where there may be a kink or some um, straining on the filament TPU actually works really, really well on this, and I know because it was forefront in Alan's mind. TPU is the third most common material used, and so we knew we had to have something that would reliably pass the TPU backwards and forwards when changing material. So when you feed material into the buffer, it comes up through the PTFE tube, through the pass-through, 
And when the lid's shut, the material feeds around automatically. Then, when you open up, you draw the material and push it through the output pass-through. And we have a very short run to the MMU, so only 550 millimetres. No, that's the actual attraction. That's um, about 300 mil 300 from millimeters. the top of buffer to the enemy rear. So we have a very short travel, and what that means is we don't have any snags, and because of the large wheels, because of the PTFE tubing, we have very low friction as well. The product's not open source, and we do get asked about that, and the reason is that not only we're we providing a professional product, that we expect that you can actually fit to your printer and it will work, we'll support it as well. So we'll provide the STL files for the left and down feeder and for the top feeder versions as well. So if for any reason we need to modify it, we'll actually pass those modifications on to our customers so that if they feel they need to update, they certainly can do. Um, and that's part of the reason why we provide it as a commercial product rather than a, a freely sourced one. We are using standard PC4 M10 pass-through adapters for Teflon tube. We are using standard M3 cap head hardware. We are using 608 ZZ bearings. Standard parts that are easily able to be acquired wherever you are pretty much. But if you don't want to source them yourself, we supply hardware kits on our website with sexy black hardware. No, we'll ship anywhere in the world. So far, the product's in uh, pre-order stage. Um, we are almost complete. We're just doing final testing on pre-production models and so on. We've taken pre-orders. About 66% of the pre-orders are actually asking for the component parts as well. Um, although it's standard parts, people may not have them around. In particular, the pass-through fittings can be quite expensive. Um, and so uh, we do provide them, and uh, obviously that's built into the cost if you have the uh, BF002 model, which is the STL files and the component parts. But we're more than happy to just sell people the STL files on their own. The website is www.filamentbuffer.co.uk